Well, hello everybody. I am going to be sharing with you today an apple crisp recipe that is pretty simple, delicious, and a crowd pleaser. So this recipe, my mom had handed down to her and then she has handed it down to us. So it is something that I make every year, almost year round, because I am one who gets enough apples during the season to freeze some apples and to can some apples into apple butter, apple sauces. So I always have apples on hand and what better way for the fall season than to um, enjoy an apple crisp on a cool fall day or share it with some friends. The first things you need are a variety of apples. So you need about four cups. I always add a few extra just because they're so delicious. I recently picked some apples from a neighbor's and he had some green apples as well as some honey crisp. So I used six or seven larger apples to make six cups. So about five apples is what you need to slice them thinly, peel them and slice them thinly. Of course, you gotta snitch a few of those skins because that's where the nutrients is. So snack on those skins while you cut the apples and then put those in a measuring bowl. And then you need to add your cinnamon, a dash of nutmeg, three tablespoons of flour, and about half a cup of sugar. Now the original recipe calls for one cup of sugar, but I don't think it needs that much. So I pared it down to a half a cup of cane sugar. You can use coconut sugar. You can use refined sugar. Um, you could probably even substitute some honey if you wish to add a more natural sugar as well. And then you mix all that together, let it massage for a while, get those juices flowing. While that is happening, you make the top. And the top is so simple. It is my favorite part, probably because it has such a buttery richness and I just love the texture of this type of crisp. So what you need for the top is one cup flour, three fourths cup brown sugar, one cup, here's the trick, of quick oats. I think the quick oats actually add a better texture. I have used rolled oats, but sometimes it just gets a little gritty in the mouth. So I do use quick oats. And then I have an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda and one stick of butter. So you soften the butter or melt it um, however you want on the stove top in the microwave. You could probably use another oil like coconut oil if you wish to do that. Um, butter just like I said has that richness to it. And then you mix all of that together, dumping every ingredient in, stir it up until it makes a nice crumbly texture. And then you dump that on to your apples after you have greased in nine by nine pan or I'm using this oval shaped pan baking dish right now. So grease that, dump the apples in, and then you put your crumble top, spreading it evenly to um, just make it cover those apples very nicely. And then your oven was preheated to 350. Bake it for 45 minutes or until it's golden brown and you see a little ooey gooey bubbliness on the side. And this pairs well with some homemade whipped cream, some vanilla ice cream, um, it is just a delicious dessert to have with a nice little latte or to have just with some coffee. Definitely recommend sharing this with some family and friends because it is a go-to. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe that you can make it for your family as well. And if you like seeing these type of recipe videos, let me know. I don't do a lot of just one recipe videos. I almost always incorporate them into my homemaking videos, but this one is a special one and it is that time of year to make something with those apples that you have. So enjoy this and have a blessed and wonderful day. Talk with you in the next one.